Hujambo, na karibu ili ujifunze mbinu za msingi jinsi ya kutumia Adobe Photoshop CC na hii Adobe Tafsiri. Kwenye mafunzo yetu ya leo tutajifunza kutumia selection tools ndani ya Photoshop CC. Kuna quite a few selection tools na methods. Hauhitaji tu master zote unapoanza tu na Photoshop CC. Let's get familiar na couple of selection tools labda tutumia often. Quick selection tool na lasso tool. Kama unafanya kazi kwa picha na multiple layers, kwanza angalia layers panel. Kuhakikisha layer pamoja na content unayotaka kuchagua iko highlighted hapa. Naenda kwa tools panel na click kwa quick selection tool. Hii tool inaweza detect edges ya objects based kwa color na tone. Kwa hivyo itafanya a lot of selecting work for you. Wacha tuseme tunataka kuchagua mannequin so that tunaweza apply an adjustment to it. Click, hold na drag across part ya mannequin. Na Photoshop CC automatically inachagua at least part of it, stopping where it sees an edge. Usijali ikiwa hupati the whole mannequin on the first stroke. As soon as utatengeneza stroke ya kwanza na hii tool, the tool sets itself to add kwa selection option. Kwa hivyo, unaweza endela to click na drag over other areas ambazo unataka kuongeza kwa selection. Kama tool itachagua too much, kama hii area background, Shikilia option key au alt key kwa windows na click na drag over that area to remove that part kutoka kwa selection. As soon as you release your finger kutoka kwa mouse out trackpad, quick selection tool ina read to the add kwa selection mode. Kwa hivyo, unaweza drag over any other areas unataka to include kwa selection, kama hii area hapa juu. Alternatively, unaweza kwenda kwa options bar na click kwa plus na minus options hapo. Lakini ina make more sense kutumia shortcut na hii tool. Sabab moja ni kwamba unaweza rudi back na forth a few times kama kwa hii area hapa mahali hakuna much contrast kati ya background na mannequin kwa hivyo na my finger off the mouse nitaongeza kwa selection by dragging along here edge alafu nitashikilia option au alt key na nita subtract kutoka kwa selection nita release my finger na nitaongeza kwa selection tena na ninaweza subtract mara moja tena fortunately hii tool learns as you work so you may have to give it just a few tries subtracting from na adding kwa difficult edge kuichagua. Tu nyingine muhimu kwa situation kama hii ni lasso tool. Selection tool ambayo inatengeneza free form selections iko located hapa kwa tools panel. Go ahead na click on it now. Lasso tool often inakuja in handy to manually clean up, clean up selections zilizotengenezwa na tu nyingine. And yes, unaweza kutumia more than one selection tool to complete a selection. The first thing tunahitaji kufanya ni kwenda kwa options bar for the lasso tool na kuibadilisha from its default to its add kwa selection option. Otherwise, if we were to click na hii tool kwa its default setting, tunaweza kupoteza our entire initial selection. If that does happen to you, tumia tu undo au step backward commands kujaribu kurudisha selection yako. Kwa hivyo, nita click kwa add to selection option alafu nitasongea kwa picha. Na hapa naona a small area that I didn't manage kupata na quick selection tool. I'm going to carefully click na ni drag along the edge and then around na kurudi uh, mwanzo to include hiyo area kwa selection yangu. Unaweza pia subtract kutoka kwa selection na lasso tool. Kufanya hivyo, rudi juu kwa options bar na click subtract kutoka kwa selection icon. Alafu nitasongea kwa picha na hapa nataka kutoa hii small area. Kwa hivyo, I'll carefully move along the edge all the way around na kurudi mwanzo. Kwa hivyo na hii selection nitaapply an adjustment. Nitaenda juu kwa image menu na nitachagua adjustments na brightness contrast. Na kwa brightness contrast dialog box Nita drag brightness slider over to the right to brighten just the area ambayo tulichagua the mannequin na nita click ok to accept that Finally nenda kwa select menu na uchague deselect au utumie keyboard shortcut command plus D kwenye Mac au control plus D kwa Windows Kama unataka tu save a copy ya hii picha without saving over the original tumia save as command kutoka kwa file menu kama vile tumekuwa tukifanya throughout the tutorial series. Kwa hivyo, hiyo ni introduction ya selection tools mbili muhimu zaidi, lasso tool na quick selection tool. Huo ndio mwisho wa mafunzo yetu kwa leo. 
na kwa mafunzo zaidi tembelea tovuti www.adobe.com na hadi wakati mwingine asante sana kwa kutazama kwa heri